mean, there was always a number of uh, outdoor uh, events organized by various dorms. Um, Marshall, I think it was must have been Marshall, had a grill on the hill, and, and different dorms would sponsor, you know, barbecues or beach themed parties, and those were always fun. I would t attend some of those. Um, I mean, a lot of it, especially in the early years, in freshman year in particular, we just sort of made our own fun. I mean, obviously there's the traditional dumping a lot of uh, de laundry detergent into the fountain. One of the things that the guys in Randolph came up with freshman year, which was hysterical, was um, they would get about, gosh, nine, ten guys into the fountain, and they'd start running along the you know, outer part of the fountain, I mean in the fountain, but along the edge, as fast as they could and try to create a whirlpool effect. And they'd all sit down at the same time and see how long the water would carry them around. Um, that sounds sort of ridiculous now, but it was a lot of fun at the time. Um, my freshman roommate and a couple other guys also did the strangest thing. The, um, there's a tree, I can't say I know what type of tree it is, perhaps magnolia, there's a tree in front of Monroe Hall. When you walk out a little bit to your left, and in the spring it produces for lack of a specific term, some sort of odd light green fleshy pine cone of some sort, a little red, and they kind of drop off from the tree. And you can climb that tree, and those bozos would climb up in the tree, and they would yell, fruit, and they would throw them in the general direction of people walking beneath them on campus walk, and I thought this was hysterical. Um, there's also, and these are completely trivial little things, but, um, some of these guys were just real practical jokesters, and this one guy, I think it was a guy named David James in my uh, freshman building in Randolph, he had this great trick where he would, um, he would run and he would jump over the low brick wall that runs between Lee and Trinkle, and of course there's a hill on the other side of it you can't see, and it looks like he's just going over like a cliff, and he'd go, oh, and he would let his voice trail off, and it always freaked people out who didn't know what was on the other side of the wall. So. I lived with a bunch of practical jokesters and I'm just I'm just giving you the stuff that's PG.